The full-scale war in Ukraine continues and Russian occupiers have captured at least five intact YPR-765 infantry fighting vehicles which were provided to Kiev by the Netherlands. This information was shared by Forbes. The national information portal TISC reported on Telegram on Friday evening, August the 23rd, that during the assault in Donetsk Oblast, the opponents used a captured YPR-765 infantry fighting vehicle as an armored personnel carrier. According to the publication, the enemy assault was repelled by Ukrainian reconnaissance soldiers and the invaders suffered losses. NIP showed a photo showing an infantry fighting vehicle with two destroyed enemies lying near it. Besides being an historical oddity with a storied past, the Russian-operated YPR-765 is yet another data point in one of the most important trends as Russia's wider war on Ukraine grinds into its third year. The Russians are running out of armored vehicles. It's not for no reason that they had to repurpose a captured Dutch vehicle from the late 1970s. The Russian military went to war in Ukraine in early 2022 with around 11,000 infantry fighting vehicles and armored personnel carriers, the main vehicles for transporting infantry into battle and supporting them with gunfire. On the drone-infested artillery-peppered battlefields in Ukraine, IFVs and APCs are arguably more important than tanks. Which is why, earlier in the wider war, Carnegie Endowment Analyst Michael Kaufman warned that the main Russian shortfall in armored vehicles is not in tanks, but in IFVs. That shortfall has gotten worse and worse as the war has ground on. In 29 months, the Russians have lost, destroyed, damaged, abandoned or captured no fewer than 6,500 IFVs and APCs. To make good the losses and equip new units, Russian industry has produced maybe a couple of thousand new vehicles and also retrieved from long-term storage as many as 7,000 old vehicles. NATO is planning to deploy an armored brigade to Finland to protect the country. According to the Finnish publication Iltaleti, the brigade, numbering approximately 4,000 to 5,000 soldiers, will be stationed in the city of Mikeli, which is just over 100 kilometers from the Russian border. NATO sources told Iltaleti that decisions on the matter have already been made and NATO and Finland will publicly and officially announce the establishment of NATO headquarters in Mikeli in the coming weeks. It is noted that weapons for the NATO armored brigade will also be stored in Finland, including armored vehicles. The Finnish Defence Forces and the national leadership have concluded that Finland needs the presence of soldiers from NATO countries on Finnish soil to enhance preventive deterrence. NATO Brigade officers, soldiers who guard and service weapons and soldiers responsible for troop logistics will be permanently present in Finland, the statement said. It is noted that NATO considers the brigade's ground forces unit as a combat unit capable of delivering a strike that has a preventive effect. NATO ground forces brigades also protect Estonia, Latvia and Lithuania. Lithuania has begun constructing a base for German troops 20 kilometers from the Belarusian border as part of NATO efforts to strengthen the border. The base will house up to 4,000 combat-ready German troops. This will be the first permanent foreign deployment of German troops since World War II. The base will operate near the capital Vilnius and just 20 kilometers from Russia's ally Belarus. It will store and service tanks and other equipment and will also have shooting ranges. Lithuania will spend more than a billion euros over the next three years to develop the base in one of the largest construction projects in its history, according to Lithuania's defense minister Raimundas Vaiksnoras. The base will operate near the capital Vilnius and just 20 kilometers from Russia's ally Belarus. It will store and service tanks and other equipment and will also house shooting ranges. Earlier, Latvia and Estonia also announced the strengthening of the border with Russia. Thus, dragon's teeth and border protection structures were installed along the border of Latvia with Russia and Belarus. Also, dragon's teeth and concrete blocks have been installed in forests and private lands in Estonia, 